points are there, but uh, no first places just yet. Well, when your one of your uh, uh, one of your three teammates uh, goes to uh, plays to second place, and you get a two round buy off it, that makes it kind of easy. Yeah, that's fair. We uh, we and then what was crazy is because what they did was they uh, for a couple of them they pat they they paired up people who had uh, uh, who had gotten two round buys, so we ended up going against uh, Eddie St. Hilaire's squad. Okay. And because of that, we still had Robert in the top um, in top cut. They st- they had Marquise yeah, so playing team. third and fourth. So it was literally uh, Juan Brand got the free win in the A seat. I got the free win in the C seat. Yeah. And then so Brandon had, Brandon had to play uh, had to play Eddie St. Hilaire to see who got the win. That's that's sick. That's pretty really <clears> cool, man. What was funny too is like he was gonna play Broly U six, but after a couple of test hands, he didn't like it. So he went back to Paranga. Paranga ramp. But the problem was, I already wrote my, my uh, sleeve up for, uh, I already wrote my list up, and I was running AOD Dende. So I, I took one star and super a ball away from him. And he was still able to do it with just seven Damn. straight up zero balls. Damn. <clears throat> he dropped one game of the three he played. Yeah, no. He clapped me today, man. Brandon, I faced him round three. He just straight up clapped me. He's, he's, he's like, seriously, he is... He he's, two a, he's, he's an artist with this uh, with this deck. Two balls in life for Brandon. That That's is, rough. That is very rough. It could be more. Yeah. <clears throat> the fact that he got two zeros mean it must mean he's got the um, a one star possibly one star in hand already. Would you see him possibly pitching a super? Just because now that he has well, now he's down to six life already. Yeah, the fact that he charged a black will be tough um, because he. Um, I mean, he, he plays the Zeno button. So he wants to charge blue like crazy, and so he's, the Zeno allows him to tap out for Super Dragon Ball if you need. But but in this case, maybe not because, I mean, if you're gonna go, you've already got a black, and then you're gonna go to a, a one blue, and then you're gonna what? You're gonna Zeno button to to untap one blue? Yeah. That's... <coughs> uh, Travis has. Played very well today. He's, of course, like known as one of like the best playing players, and it's literally his favorite deck since ever. But yeah, 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 we've uh, we've been uh, we, we've been talking about it on stream, wanting to see him versus Tim Palacios. Y'all need yes. to make that happen. Yes, man. Get get an octagon tournament, man. I'm sure Tim can be down for that. Something like that. I'd rather have him play in person. Well, obviously Tim's West Coast, isn't he? He's California. Yeah, he's California. So yeah. the only way that happens is if y'all do the nationals. If we if we get that, because I know, like you talked about the Nats side events, the next the day two events, that's pretty nuts, dude. How many of y'all y'all, if you have not seen, go go take a look at uh, Dragon Ball Super's official page. They just announced Sunday nationals. If you don't make top cut, you can play in a draft side event, and if you play in that draft side event. Um, winners are going to get their invite to the 2020 uh, Nationals. You can go ahead and wrap up Nat's invite for next year on Sunday of this year's Nationals. Retire for a year, just play your locals and stuff like that, then just come to Nat's. Absolutely. Off a of draft box, y'all. Draft. Man, this is why draft box four was legit. This it, It's going gonna, it's gonna to make, like, I'm, I'm, I'm geeked to play on Sunday either way now. Oh, absolutely. I want to be in top cut. Of I want to bring my bay to bay over to the top cut, but but we'll see. That is my goal this year is to top mats. Of course, the goal is to win, but uh, backup plan is definitely just made it to top thirty-two. All right, so you know Tim's already doing pan things like Pan likes to do. He's trying to put the pressure on early because he knows that the trick to um the trick to the trick to getting like to get in around Paranga is just to take their life down so that they KO can and, and um and Gogeta seven aren't aren't something you need to worry about. Yeah, no. Life is literally the best resource for Brandon. <coughs> I, it was a good sign for him not to look through his life this time, so I, I assume he doesn't have any left in life, but Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. I could see him maybe objectioning here. Oh, He's yeah. gonna spin two. Oh source. That's, source. Uh, Striving. Striving to be the best. That that that'll definitely force Tim into um Travis. Or Travis. I don't like him. <laughs> Pan. Yeah. It's gonna force Travis into uh man, he's gonna have to find a way to um get a digging deep in that drop to really put some pressure on like he wants to. Oh, if he it's pretty bold to swing because yeah, Travis did have a Kaba in hand as well, so next turn was gonna oh. be quite the thing. But. Yeah, that is that's an awkward play because if he can't swing with it, what's Maybe what are you he worried thinks about? He has it? Chain attack, possibly. Uh Combo's ability unleashed, which is a horrible. But. Yeah, he still can't swing at it, but he can swing at it with lead. So yes. that's, I just, 
I know what I know he may be afraid of, of chain attacks Zeno, but I don't, I don't think I'd be that scared because he hasn't awoken yet, so he can still search out the Super Dragon Ball and fill his hand back up even after his Zeno. Familiar Ron's gonna bring out adolescence. I would expect us to swing <coughs> possibly at the Goku just to open up trunks. Because uh, I know some builds like to run the Goku Oopsie Career, but Brand is running Victory Strike, which I think is the better choice. But so Billy just comes with Pan Trigger, draws a card, says 20k base. And swinging into the Goku. So it's 20 to 10, and Travis is going to draw a card off this. Uh, I think Brand is deciding if he wants to button. No negates. Yeah, I don't think I, then, 20 I, to 10. I can't see a situation a where a button is. See, this is why he should yeah. have swung into it, man. It's unfortunate, but... That, that was a huge misplay there. I know, uh, talking with Travis, one of his big goals was to just stick a, <coughs> stick a Fearless Pan on board to avoid Victory Strike. Brandon does run, like, counter UI, the counter UI. Um, he also sideboards the Vegeta counterplay, just as a World Peace target, to, like, wipe Travis's whole board with the minus 20. He's also, I mean, if he gets the Pan out as a, as a stick there... He can um he can resolve later in the game if he gets there. He can resolve the new UI Goku to pop it back to hand too. That card is amazing. There's I, a reason. I nearly did decide it. So he actually does. He buttoned on the trunk swing. Sorry, they're doing some trades in the background. <laughs> so Brandon buttons on the trunk swing. Travis, I believe already took the life. And then Brandon going to combo 10k out of hand. Weiss. So go 20 to 15. And leader leader. Yeah, you notice that sexy uh, foil Whis, man. And Dude. for all them folks hating on the draft box, yes, pulls are not great, but it's not a product meant to be pulled. That's the thing. And but it's given us things we've been asking for. We it gave us a draft box that we can actually draft and have a, a ton of fun with. And I love that it's all um, one leader. Nobody can not have that lead. Uh, not have that yep. leader. No super combos. And then how many folks have been asking for foil stuff from set one and two? Yep. And now you get it. Dude, that foil, the foil Whis would be nothing if it wasn't for Shenron and Perunga. Because <laughs> the card seems yeah, zero absolutely. play. But like now it's like, it's a, it's a $15 foil still? I packed two of them. Um, it's been bought out. It's, it's, it's at like it? 25 now. Oh, wow. Damn, I sold two early. Yeah. No, like, at my draft, <laughs> I pulled foil Topo. Like, that, that's, that's, that card's, oh. That's only 10 bucks right now. I'm waiting for Nats, because that card's yeah. shooting up. I'll tell you, um, like, uh, to be fair, though, shout out to Matt Combs, because he, um, back prepping for uh, ATL PPT, he was on, um, he had already brought up this whole uh, Weiss's resting attendance to try to do some nasty stuff, but then it was just for Shenron, it was just for Shenron Gogeta 7 yeah. to try to do earlier. But we have Tim in the chat saying he'd be down to play Travis. At Nats for the pan title. We need, oh my gosh, been actually wanting for a while, here's a pan. Ooh, I'm sure. All right, we, we, we got to set something up. Uh, Y'all have to get this orange. Maybe it can happen on Friday, and we can live stream that thing. Uh, yeah, he he hasn't seen what Dragon Ball yet, and he also doesn't have a way to get it. Oh no, he's objectioning which he can Dragon Ball now. Yeah, yeah. So another button in Manhattan would be really good. But there yeah, it there it is. So now if he's got the Zeno button, it's hard to tell what he's drawing there. I think I saw a World Peace and a Weiss. That's all I got. Okay. I got a glimpse of. But it, was it coercion or... or uh, oh, not coercion. The uh, resting attendant. Man, sometimes the title is worth more than the money. I played in a money match today. It was only five bucks, but I played in a money match. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't have an... I'm, I'm not good enough to put my money where my mouth is. That's why I only did five bucks, dude. <laughs> I'm trying to get an apartment. <laughs> but, you, but you won it, too. I Just did think. win. It got me some pizza. Like. <laughs> Brandon has got in the two cards. But I think he actually pitched a little piece already. So yeah, he loves to do the, the, the world yeah. piece. Yeah, but it's, he basically just drew three and pitched one. <laughs> yeah. He, he wants to, like, his 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 um, optimal play that he loves to make Hopefully there. Hopefully he flips a blue here. Flips dragon Ooh. radar. That's not great. That's three black in his, in his charge area. Brandon is not one to give it up. Uh, yeah, be, uh, hey Ben. <laughs> yeah, Ben. That's that's Butters over there. That's he, he's still stuck here waiting on Travis. I wouldn't say stuck. I'm the one who wanted to play. I didn't even stop. And I was like, "You guys are playing." Like, I had like four people come up to me and talk to me about like, "Oh, you need to split." Mathematically, it's just smarter to do. I was like, "Nope." I was like, I mean, "All my team's gonna win." <laughs> both, both of these boys. I I, I know Brandon. Brandon. Uh, he wants the 500. He wants the. He wants the. Um. He wants people to know who he is. But um. I'm sure, for more than what happened at Nats last year. 
Um, and, and, but I'm sure he'll be happy with the 250. Oh yeah, money here is just great. I just this is a golly big man. turn for Travis. I needed one dub, one more W would have put me in the in the top cut, man. Oh, I scrapped nets. I went 03 to start. Sorry, 02, and then I won a game. I won five straight. We played, you and I, that's the first we time did. we met. We played yeah. late, late, late rounds. Yeah, Shenron Hand Destruction. I was out there hard cast on my oh, super combos. Shenron Hand Destruction when we were freaking home. That was in the uh, Gunslinger, right? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, that was, um, oh. You were playing up? Yamcha's, Broly's, of all yes. Broly's, Super 17's. That was before uh, me and some boys on 3XG Discord broke the, uh, the other version of Shenron Hand, uh, Hand Destruction. Yeah, I think it's I think it's back to be honest. I think like you can make a really solid hand destruction deck right now with Shenron. Yeah, I don't. It's just not what it was, and that's what that's. Child's Wish was an insane card. Child's Child's Wish into the three drop. Um, Yamcha and Broly. No, well, into the three drop uh, Android to be able to go into the four drop. Yeah. So, <laughs> had a really dumb uh, Super Shenron deck with that. Get that on turn two, and I ran. I released <coughs> the Piccolo, so they dropped their hand down. Uh, Charles was the Piccolo, so they dropped their hand out of six for that turn, then just absorb to go to down to four. <laughs> it was something real stupid, but it was a fun time. But. Yeah, it's um, I, I, what I love wow. and what what I hate about this this format, and that's and that's God on the truth. I, I love and hate it is the fact that it's in big tournaments like when we go to nationals. It, there's so many decks out there that it's like, man, if I can just dodge my bad matchup, I've got I'm strong into top cut. Travis going for game here. I think he has a uh, what did he have? He's dumping to go. That is What's a 35k swing with leader. No super combo, no draws. No waking. I think he's just <coughs> apply pressure, so he can't get Vegeta and he can't get Kyle Ken, and I think he's just gonna tap three for fearless pain in the pass. Yeah. No, nah, okay. yeah. He has Denial and Topo in hand. I mean, Denial won't do too much in this matchup, but... Topo doesn't do almost, it does almost nothing in this matchup. Yeah. That would have came in clutch against uh, the Frieza, if Frieza yeah. were to be Brandon. Because he was very, like, trigger-happy swinging with the A-drop. Just swing twice, then uh, evolve, restand. He only did that, I think he only, I only saw them, him do that once when he, when he, I don't, I think it was Victory Strike was, uh... He got Kyle Kid out of his hand. Yeah. But, you know, uh... Frieza with a bit more leeway on what it can do. Yeah, it went to game three, went to time between Brandon and Sublet with that. And, and honestly, I was sitting next to Sublet watching him play, and he just, like, for two turns in a row off of uh, Frieza leader ability, he, um, he freaking draw, he drew, like, one time it was Objection Senzu, and the next time it was, like, Objection something else. And it just, it, it bit him in the butt. That happens, man. That's how I lost to uh, DJ. DJ was another pan player replaced. I just, I... Opened my hand, I'm playing tricolor. I didn't have a green for turn two on the play. And he put digging deep out, I chomped at it, but he just saves it with four star balls, so I just got He's pushed. Digging. But, oh wow, yeah, he just drew digging deep Vegeta off of the Topo. Oh. It's not looking good right now. But. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that, like that. I, I, I literally, I just said Topo's like no good in this matchup. It's, it's, it's not. It's not. There's nothing much for him to do here. It's pan trigger. Yeah, that, that, that's what helps Travis. But I'm saying it's like I don't know what Brandon was trying to accomplish there myself. I mean, he's trying to get away the trunks to get away his self awakening. But it's not looking good. I'm assuming he's playing Paranga here. Paranga would be a great card. No denial, and he can reset the board. It is not bad that you're rooting for both sides, but don't tell Brandon that you're, uh, I mean, that's your teammate there, Devin. <laughs> I got confused because you said Devin. He can, he can. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, Devin Summer, yeah. He's, uh, they are, st uh, he's on, on the team stage zero with, uh, yeah, with Brandon. Yeah, Android and, like, yeah. yeah. It's a one stage. That's like when uh, Danny Maxey of G&G &G was rooting for Robert and Dayhan at the same time. <laughs> I was like, man, you can't do that mess. So he ends up keeping the one drops <coughs> in the field. Yeah, I, I don't see how Brandon. So I, like, Brandon, I, he, so, why did he keep that self awakener? I don't know. Maybe he has something else for three mana. He said he ain't scared. Maybe we'll see. I know Brandon doesn't run Bean, so that's. <laughs> he doesn't anymore. No, he does not run Bean. He took that out, huh? It, it, that's what that's what uh, when I played uh, uh, some of y'all caught round five when I played Travis and Travis doesn't run Zeno button and he said uh, like he but he runs three um, desperate measures 
And he said, oh, that's 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 why he didn't mind. Yeah. Uh, someone needs to go tell him to tap for that, though. He did leader effect world peace. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, not a great target for world peace, but in this in this yeah. situation. But unfortunately for him, he doesn't know that Travis just got digging deep as well. And he just drew combo. Well, combo doesn't yeah. matter with the Goku, yeah. but that's just free charge. And then yep. he can't respond with UI here, so because he's only three mana. It's a... Uh, yeah, no way to untap here. it. Yeah, I don't... I don't I don't know what's in his hand. I mean, he's got a bunch of one, uh, 10k combo pieces, but if Travis does anything else, it's... Yeah. it's and Travis still had those Well, there's combos. 25k, too. Yeah. yeah. No beans. <clears throat> this is... I feel like Brandon's just denying himself time here. He also just got bonds, so he can bonds out something else, but it's a... Uh... I, I think this is what we call a wrap, and Brandon just doesn't know Definitely it yet. Definitely this match, yeah. Travis probably going to go on in a lot of attacks here. Well, this, yeah, this is, uh, so he's at 25, 35, 40. See, here, here's something, but like I said, it doesn't matter. Yeah, he, he didn't take, take it, it there. He knew, he knew he didn't he have it. He had bonds, pan, like, he had a lot of things. Yeah. But, so they're gonna get into but now Brandon's board. on the play. But well, he was on the play last time, so that, oh. He did, yeah, he yeah. was. He was on the play. But he does get access to the uh, Vegeta sideboard card to yeah. nuke the entire board. Like, Travis's whole deck is below 20. Yeah. So that's gonna be big for Brandon. But it doesn't ignore barrier, so at least if he has a pan out of a stick. Does that Vegeta have barrier? Uh, I mean, no. sorry, deflect. Uh, it does not. Is have it deflect. 20k base? Yeah. It is. It a, can get denial. I think then. it is a 20k base. So in an aspect, if Travis can like read the play properly, like if yeah. if say like Brandon has six mana, there's not many regular targets, like he can ignore the other one, so he can just denial and just hope. So. I think it was the first one. I don't know, the pictures aren't loading, so it's not universe. No, it's seven. definitely not because that's 34 cents. Just scroll down to a thirty card thirty dollar card. I'm just I'm I'm trying to go down to uh where I can tell it draft box. <laughs> draft box one. What in the world? Oh here we go, draft yeah, box four. Draft brawl. All right. Uh not the majestic that. ruler. Not that. No no. Nope. Roll line, not that. No. Just look for a thirty dollar card. I'm gonna do this. Let's let's go hide Price a low. Price the hide a low. <laughs> Exploiting weakness, that's the baby. I just sold two of those when I got here today. Uh, All right, it is a counterplay. Base, so yes, it can yeah. get denied. <clears throat> yep, so if he's prepped for it, he's got the answers to it, man. That also requires Travis to pass turn with two open, which is like something he doesn't really want to do. He wants to mainly just tap out and go sideways. Yeah, aggro. He's got to do that. But that's the, that's the good thing about it is he's only going to be able to world piece it, which means he's got to get in his drop first. Yes. Unless he somehow charges three Kaiokens. He uses three red for it. But <laughs> Well, considering he only plays two, yeah, two he, better not, he better not charge three. Uh, Travis got game one. Travis won game one. We're on, on to game two. It was it was a bloodbath. Yeah, uh, a, big, a big thing we talked about for that game one was string, swinging with that striving. Opening up for that. Yeah. Uh, he got it out, and and I know he was just, he really it, the only logical reason to do that is if you are afraid of Chain Zeno. But like I said, where he was there, I mean, I guess he figured it. I guess maybe he thought it would have to limit his Super Dragon Ball play. Yeah, because he still had it in deck, I believe. So he would have. It was either a deck draw, or in hand, yeah. but yeah. He would have had a heavy drawback. He would have <clears> had like eight cards that turn. Yeah. Maybe he thought Travis would defend it. If it's the thing with like this pandal with like the uh, familiar bonds, like they instantly get two dumpster cards. Like the thing is like when they play, they get the two four star balls. They don't care about them. Like the only card they're good for is if they buff the two jump trunks during their turn. Absolutely. That's the only cute thing for it. It's 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 definitely it's salty on that trunks. Yeah. Other than that, it's just dumpster. Like so, oh they're not gonna pitch two cards. It's like well they're useless cards. It's not in color and it's just nothing. So just pitch them. I'd rather have the one drop fifteen k card attack because it gains me life. So it's just well worth it for Travis just to dump the cards into it. Absolutely. <coughs> and when you're playing against him, at the time, I think it was his only option for self awakening. Yes. And, he, and, and he, he's got to be able to do that. Yep. I think both times he saved the trunks, he actually ended up drawing a Kava. Both times. <coughs> so. But he never awakened. Uh, no, he didn't. He, he uh, didn't, but, but, he, but I mean, he was in control. You, you want to make sure you're set up for the yeah. awakening play. That Tobo play saved the trunks and then also drew. I thought when he will piece, instead of bringing out Striving, I thought maybe he had five drop Gogeta in a drop to spin it. That's where. Um, I was originally for my um, my Broly apes today. I, I, Perunga was definitely kind of a. It was a rougher matchup than it looked like on stream, but I knew I had to have self awakening in there as well. I was at first on the Krillin one drop, just like the, the trunks, but uh, but Zap talked to me uh, late last night and said it needed to be the 
the black mass Sam just because of a nasty little Shenron uh, veggie deck that, that's apparently popped up out there. Yeah, no, a couple of our locals play it, and I played it at the Team Wars event for uh, uh, G and G. They had one. Well, them. apparently there's a new one that's popped out with with some of the new cards. Yeah, um, Shout I know. Zach, man, he sees decks before they even drop. Yeah, <laughs> like, I um, <clears throat> I played against someone that was. What was he trying to do? Oh, I played against a red green. Veggie's engine with the um, with the red uh, king uh, Vegeta leader out there today. Um, yeah, it can be actually pretty aggressive. Yeah, but it's also a best of one deck. You lose to Kami, and well, you just lose other decks. <clears throat> game one, he uh, on his turn, he, I went first, and on his turn two, he tapped out um, for the the planet Vegeta. Ah, uh, yeah. And I, I didn't give him a turn three. <laughs> and that's what's nasty with it. Like the apes can go wide fast. Dude, they can. <clears throat> I tested against that the war cry uh, Bardock. Yeah. That card is insane. Man. In testing, I, my, my favorite was uh, I let someone get me to um, I passed turn with four life, tapped out. Um, awakened. I'm sorry, I was at four life. I was unawakened. Okay. Tapped out with two energy. All I had was two energy. Passed back, and he dropped something against me. Uh, he he uh, I think he swung leader and tried to go up to like um, I think he went up to like 30k, thinking I was gonna take it. And, but what happened is when he swung first, I went ahead and zen on button, restood yeah. two energy. And he's like, fine, bump up 30k. And I was like, okay. Uh, Bardock Warcry, tap two, awaken, untap it, tap two, Bardock Warcry. Oh, 35. And then I threw like a 5k on it. And I was like, okay. And then he had like three, uh, like two other battle cards that he thought he was going to follow up. But when, but when those Bardocks came in, I said, tap them both down. Drew me two. Yeah, it's like a your <coughs> version of uh, Bojack Arrival. Yeah, which I play in there as well. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah the deck, it's like, oh, do you leave something in active mode? You better, it better have barrier. <laughs> so, like, I don't know, a couple of people tech to the three-drop Frieza, the barrier blocker you can play from your grave from the draft box. This draft box put a lot of tech cards in there. It didn't make, like, a new deck, but it just added so much tech and, like, different support. Like, I th Well, I think, I think what we're seeing here is the way every first tournament weekend after a new set drops, um, people find the things to tech into old archetypes yeah. and... A couple of people find, and that's why, honestly, that's why Jose Mercado, Z Richard Zapp, and um, apparently Frisco Foss, all team, all team, um, the Shenron's Lair, all top. Uh, that's one, two, three after Swiss playing um, like sixty one of the same cards I played today. Yeah, uh, weren't the like it was, it was Zapp and Jose who were same sixty five at table one. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. What's funny, so y'all, mad respect to Jose Mercado because he didn't decide to play this deck until late last night. Okay. No testing, and he just second uh, he second placed it, and I'm and I, you know and, and that's that's just that's nasty. That's that's a skill. I believe they're currently playing top cut. Are they playing top cut today? Uh, there is. Oh, it, it might be tomorrow. Sorry, yeah, it's, it's probably tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's uh. I mean, I'm just proud that I got to be in the testing group and help refine the list and help find that, that right amount of cards. <clears throat> yeah, Zap got, Zap or Jose got uh, first after Swiss? I think it was Jose, Frisco, Zap. In okay. That order. Yeah. Shamron's Lair was all over the place. Yep. Yeah. And it all over the place with the, with the same archetype. Yeah, people in chat, was it 16 or top 32? I was curious. I don't, I don't know. Uh, oh, so Zap got was. third? Hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. Top 16. All okay. right. Dope. Yeah, a couple of buddies bubbled out there. But that's all right. Tis I mean, I bubbled today, but that's all right. It's only top eight today. So, But uh, Brandon getting another – he had another ball in life. It wasn't two, but maybe – okay, so here's a good start for Brandon. He was able to do the counterplay Kai to stop Trunks from attacking, and if he maybe has a turn two striving, then it's even better. So he just avoided two attacks here with one card. <coughs> yeah. So good start for Brandon. That, that's one of his side ones. He, he normally sides it in for U6, but obviously it's, it's good yes. here. Yes. Yeah, he uh, had a great play against uh, McKinney with it. Yeah, I think he brings three of them in, too. Uh, dang. That's not. He runs power boost as well, so he's yeah. cycling. Brandon would have won against uh, McKinney had uh, time not run out. Yes. Because um, Brandon wasn't setting up to do it. But it was, they were in turns and, and in the 10 minute clock. It was definitely. Yeah. This event was definitely set up to, to be practice for nationals. So we essentially followed the same floor rules as as Nationals will. Yeah, it was. Uh, he basically had his turn passed to him with like forty five seconds left. It was a minute, and and, and yeah. Marquis got a little upset that one of the judges called out that minute, 
And then Brandon still had if, – if the problem is is Brandon, Brandon can't play fast. He, he yeah. calculates everything. And so because of that, he, he just he, – he literally piddled away the entire minute of – by deciding, to, deciding whether or not he wanted it to world peace, deciding whether or not he wanted it to be KO Ken, and then deciding which which uh, one card uh, he was going to rip from from yep. Marquise's hand, and by then his minute was gone. Yeah, so draw. But uh, <clears throat> by Brandon searching out two Dragon Balls, he either has Super Dragon Ball or he's just saving the two for Strapi. Yep. Yeah, I, I think that's the smart play it here. Is. Uh, he Don't knows that he, <laughs> he knows that the only, which he can't he yeah. can't really swing at at it now, but he knows that the only way he can do anything is to is to delay a little bit. Travis drawing three familiar bonds so far. Yep. How long he has any targets? He just has a handful of extra cards. So charging to denial. I think he has a digging deep to maybe combo here. Yeah. He does. So that's a good thing for Brandon. Well, sorry, not Brandon, Travis. Yeah, that's not a good thing for Brandon. Definitely because he's going to combo it, and then he's going to just spin two for familiar oh, bonds. Oh, back to hand. That, sir. Yes. It's basically Jacko, but... Yep, yeah, it's, it's the jo it's the same Jocko, but Brandon likes this for two reasons. One, he, he wants to max rarity this deck, so uh, he can get that. He's got Hard that flex, foil. I understand. But also, he, what he likes about it is in in, in it's playable weird weird situations where he may not um, want to make his opponent opponent take the card back. He can still use it as combo power because Jocko says they choose. have to you have to choose one. Uh, uh, have to choose one to bounce back, and West Kai says up to one. Yes. <clears throat> That's a saucy play right there. That Foils really was. Let's be real. <laughs> Actually, no. He was on it. He was on it for for the other reason first. I was mainly joking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, but yeah. He was definitely like, yeah. I was like, I don't. I can't think of a time where I wouldn't want to bounce it. But then, you know, for uh, for for my uh, my, my pet deck, uh, I, I decided to because I'm I'm max raritying it for um for Nats. So I just don't. I don't. I think my I need to test into Janemba. And I need to test into Furunga with my with my adjustments since Orlando. And that's you know because of because of what I was able to do in in Ohio, I was I was super glad that I could actually just use Orlando as a um, as data collection. Yeah. <coughs> How many of that kind of the blue run? The, the blue yellow Broly list is cute. That might be the understatement of the day. Um, Brandon, I think um, two, maybe three. I don't. I haven't actually seen. Um, if someone goes and finds a, Kyle, we can figure out what the deck list is. I think he's. I think that's actually him in the camera, right by Brandon's name. Is that him, or Impossibly. is that? Uh, it is him. I'll run out here here in a second. Let us get these deck lists so we can know what's going on here. All right, he takes the draw. He's got one blue, which he likes that because, I mean, if he's got a couple weeks' coercion in hands, he can do some work with that. One takeaway for Travis here is he hasn't been able to objection yet, where turn three usually is objection. So it kind of helps, but he does have his uh, digging turn here, as long as it doesn't get bounced back. Well, he's, he's definitely trying to play a little more conservatively here, but and the scary thing is, is I mean, he, when he charges to four, um, he can freaking, uh, he, can, he can turn that into several energy. Yeah. Yeah, he, can, he, can go, he can go from four to seven just like that, and it can be, it can be nasty. He can out of nowhere. So. <coughs> oh, it's not looking good right now. He got his leader power bursted. Yep. Has the, see if he goes and grabs a Kai. He's going to grab the yep. counter Kai. Yep, so if he wants to play something. hard cast it. Forget he can do that. <laughs> yep. Pan trigger draw. Is he, and he's not going to resolve it here because he's not really worried. He doesn't have yeah. to worry about it there. Trap's going to rip two life here. I can see him not swinging again or swinging. It really depends on what he thinks Brandon has. Yeah. So now it's thirty or it's twenty-five k. Super and. So there's twenty-five. And then um. I can see him tapping out for maybe something he wants. He wants a roll piece. Uh yeah, possibly a, a Reese's resting attendant. Reese's a Reese's resting attendant here. But he gets lucky and uh, flips um, over an actual blue. Ben, I, I get that you prefer it, and uh, and I would I would say the opposite, man. I'll be honest, man. In testing, um, in testing by Zap, who, who obviously does, knows the deck well, um, the red yellow version just doesn't seem to be nearly as aggro as um, yeah, as the as the blue yellow. 
and it's uh so I, I you know I'm not saying the the radio is not not good it's not solid but it's um it's definitely um I think that the 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 hard part is is you know you have to arrival that in and then there's so many freaking answers I mean you go to you, you know you arrival that in and someone can topo you or, or someone can freaking counter it back to your hand I'm running the blue one so I just it's a, it's I, I tap two blue and, and uh, drop Gohan and you put it back in hand. Yeah, no, I know. Uh, but if that five if that five drop King eight uh, uh, King Vegeta eight drops in that red yellow version, okay, now now the now we done got us some problems. Yeah, the play is to arrival it during uh, like say I'm, I played Janemba with the, the locals and like help like just we play tests all the time. Uh, they arrival it during my turn, so the mm -hmm. worst thing I can do is rest mode it or bounce it back to hand. But if they go double yellow, they're like, okay, it's back in my hand, do it again. <laughs> so I can't respond. I thought it didn't. Does it not require a red? I, I forget. Does it not require a red? It is a red yellow uh, uh, but arrival, but it's a yellow energy. energy. Gotcha. Yeah. If it was red energy, it'd be a lot different. Yeah. I would be right with like it's a bit harder to get out, but yeah, no. It's a uh, once it gets out, like the only thing I can do with Janemba is like have the Kamion field the Piccolo God Strike mm -hmm. remove barrier and like Piccolo kill it. <clears throat> Wait, it has ba oh no the five drop. The has five drop barrier. has barrier and then gives everything yeah. else barrier. So like Vegeta the Cruel is a dead card. So, yeah. I'm assuming he sides in his, he sides in something, correct? I guess I guess Ben, I don't know what you mean by uh, low to the ground when literally I, I beat Perunga on 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 my turn three. I, I don't I wouldn't I guess in this meta you might call that mid range, but I've I beat I beat uh, Red King Vegeta when he had two energy, um, and I can get I can have three apes out there. <laughs> so Brandon's gonna I assume assembling's out for striving, but obviously without it being there, you're just gonna threaten him with a kami. Travis. Assembling's out? Where, where's assembling? He's assembling out Kami just now with uh, oh, two by tapping two mana. That's a pretty sneaky little... <clears throat> I think he's really trying to turn this into a long game here. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's no... He has an objection once. So, like, I, th I think... Wait, he has... No, he's a five mana. He's we He Weiss this he's turn. Weiss. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But... And now he's going to try to use that Weiss to... The thing is, Travis does have... Uh, the, the, he just brings yeah. it right back. So yeah. Obviously, Travis would rather stick and just be able to use the four mana for something else. Yeah. But it's not the biggest thing in the world for Travis to save it. And then, yeah. So twenty to fifteen. Oh uh, yeah. I mean, I, I get what he's trying to do here. Maybe it was just for the dig. Because yeah. why not just tap the two? I, I guess he, he figures he can get him to pitch some cards here to try to save it, and then he could uh, tap for Kami. Well, he only has, uh, Travis only has two. Get that four. <coughs> oh, so, that's right. Yeah. yeah. And now he's got one. Yeah. He saves it by, he has to push a bit extra because he knows, like we said, Travis just can dump some of the four star balls to save digging. But. Yeah, and, and that's, that can be, that can be the, the standard for that, that ape, man. Like, if you have the apes and I've got bean, and dude, that's, that's all it takes sometimes, especially uh, when I'm at three energy. I think Travis still has double familiar. He's seen all four. Oh wow, and he's still and he's got the top of in hand with two up. Yeesh. Brandon has desperate measures, which isn't huge in this situation though. But if Travis happens to choose a different line of play, yeah. But obviously, with two or less, he's probably going to avoid them with the striving on field. But, you know, Travis is going to get a lot of pushes in. Does here. Travis just play two of the walls? Four. 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 Nice. He runs four, so you can fully resolve two and then get rid of the other ones. Pain trigger gets another bonds target. I can see Travis just taking one life here. No, I don't know what I'm talking about. I just whatever Travis does with this deck, I'm like, yep, that's the right play. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are the same way with Tim. It's like, yep, he's doing it perfectly. <laughs> well, I, I, I met Tim for the first time ever in Orlando. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I haven't I, met him either. So yeah. That was the first time, and honestly, it was just because Pat O'Neill was rooming with me, so that was my connection to meeting meeting Tim. Okay. If if it wasn't for Pat O'Neill, I still wouldn't know who Tim is. Uh, I believe uh, Pat unfortunately bubbled the 17. Mm -hmm. I think it was at the event in Canada. But and he was on Janimba again. He was. Yeah. Is he still blue, yellow, or tricolor? I, I don't know what he played there. We we were expecting him to. He, he had uh, he had been brewing a deck that he kind of shared with us that was pretty saucy. Okay. It was a, a blue green uh, control deck. That's nice. And that's all I know about it because that arrival's a really good control. I, I didn't uh, I didn't really ask him for money details on it. Uh, but I don't know if he decided he because uh, he's got his invite so I think maybe he, he actually might like the deck better than he wanted to let people know so he decided he might be decided to sit on his uh, his secret spice until nationals 
So Travis comboing off the trunks, because I assume he's, he might play two more battle cards to get a make sure Kami's out of range. But so we have this is leader swing, so it's twenty five to fifteen. So he's trying to set up. So I, I, again, Brandon uh, really doesn't give us much view into his hand. He doesn't. He doesn't uh, riffle. He doesn't sit there shuffling his deck yeah. like many many players do. Um, he's he's pretty calm and collected, and so that doesn't give us very many details. It's gonna be so trigger. he just he just uh, he made sure. Yeah. So he's gonna draw three, then discard one. There's a denial. Panzer could draw here, so he. <coughs> I feel like Travis might swing with this. Uh, ah. So I thought maybe one play. Does he, he and, do. he, and he still has one more fam uh, familiar bonds yep. in hand, right? Yep. Uh, and he, also has, is... he also has a denial, so he can set up to where he can counter that uh, Vegeta that he. Uh, I think Brandon has in hand, maybe. Yeah. Good. <clears throat> I think he pitches digging because he still has three more swings. Traps also has to be careful. I mean, Brandon could just resolve one Gogeta and win. Like, yeah, that's um, and that's what I think. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing Brandon's probably sitting on a couple of uh, a objections, couple of, uh, uh, objections to really set up to go Gogeta on. Just him. needs one for next turn. Yep. He's gonna charge to six and then objection to seven. Mm-hmm. And Travis could be in for a little hurt, but also a thing I thought Travis might do would be just play Fearless Pan. So 35 to 25 here. All right, what's he gonna do here? I could see him comboing off the Kami here, honestly. Yeah, I feel if, like that's a really one time, but I think he also just wants to threaten Travis with it. Yeah, the thing is, I think Travis is setting him up for another familial bonds into that, um, into that other digging deep. Yeah. I know Travis also has a Kai in hand, the double strike Kai. So, he's already used Overwhelm, so he only has, doesn't have a lot to push with left. Yeah, there we go, he's trying to uh, save some. Figured he might do the common for the 5k there. Time yep. for bonds. <laughs> Brandon's hand uh, dwindling down, and like we said, if, if it's clunked with objections, it's not looking great. So this doesn't get pan trigger because he played the, the Bardock. Mm -hmm. It's just more efficient to pitch the Diggy Deep instead of doing an odd combo with it. Yep. Two more. This is, yep. Two more combo pieces. None more in life, so lucky Travis. Was able to resolve them both fully. Bonds is such a good card. Like obviously it's just child's wish, but it pluses you two. With pain, you just plus you do infinite. Mm -hmm. So just gonna go down to three. I, I think what's crazy about Bonds is the is the non Shenron restriction. Yeah. So down to three with the twenty five k swing from digging. Mm hmm. I'm curious to see what Travis does with this two mana, or he just leaves it for the topo. Brandon doesn't have a lot of, because like, it's a part of cost of swinging, so if Brandon doesn't have enough <laughs> cards to pitch, he literally just can't attack. But yeah, it depends on what, but, or he uses that to negate yeah, the Gogeta. Yeah. Yeah. He must have just drew that Weiss. Must be going to pass turn. If uh, Brandon, I feel like Brandon has to clear this board somehow, or kill Travis. In a charge to six, and here's the crazy part, though, honestly, is is Brandon if he's got the um, if he's got more objection. than one objection and he can go to eight, he can swing with um, like the Weiss, mm -hmm. combo the victory strike and then ultimate it out. Yeah. And then and then Topo is no good. Yeah, absolutely. And 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 Travis could actually fall for that because he knows that all he needs is one more. So like if he if he objections first to go to seven. Then he saves the topo on the Wii swing, so that it doesn't um, the Gogeta seven swing isn't for lethal. Also with Brandon, he has that King Vegeta in the warp, so he can actually just make trap <coughs> have to play basically uh, Kid Koo, which is Vanilla's, mm -hmm. and not be able to delete effects. But There's the that objection. objection. So now he's got to decide. I can't really tell. He's got like five, six cards in hand. I think it's around five. Goes All right. I think it actually might be a bit lower. I might have only three. He's a big hands. He's a big guy. <laughs> it's yeah. hard to tell what he has. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Could just hard cast Gogeta as well, but looks like he's gonna tap one for like a radar possibly. A radar to do a little bit more digging could um, yeah. could help, and that's what's nasty about the Purunga leader is is the fact that you can tap four to world peace. And then you can uh, see. Told you, he's okay, trying to see. set him up. He might topo this, but I think Brandon has uh, the counterplay, the one drop uh, blue. I forget what it's called. Desperate measures. Desperate oh, measures. Yes. I think he has it in hand. He has that, and he could definitely set him up here. So, uh, if I'm Travis, you might want to just sit back. <clears throat> I think he's gonna tap this, that. This uh, Weiss isn't lethal. You're not scared of this. It's just yeah. a combo card. It's like now if he had an extra card. In the I game, think he's gonna tap the. Um, the black to combo? The black for a combo, for sure. Yeah, he have to combo the combo Luis to get it to do anything? He does, but if <coughs> he topos, uh, the attack is still negated, but then he just has a free attack with striking. Yeah. So. Yeah, no. I think the fact that they're here, I think Travis may have no countered him, no response. Yeah. So he's going to ultimate now. Yeah, I guess he, I don't know what happened here. I'm confused. I, assume, I guess there was a no combo. Maybe he just had second thoughts. Okay. I think he, maybe he, he just didn't try to bait the bait the, bait the bait the topo, topo, which was smart. So he's gonna do Gogeta, crit the life. Yep. And let's see if oh he crits victory strike off the life. Oh my gosh! So if he has another world objection, peace. yeah. Oh no, he yeah he can't. That's right. It's at seven, so he'd have to objection into world peace. Well, no, he he's got the four energy to to main uh, to. Yeah. I just don't yeah. think he has the cards yeah. for it. He needs is the thing. yeah. Yeah, no. T uh, and it, but at three life, he, he probably goes for for game. Travis here. has to combo out of the attack. I mean, yeah. the, the attack's still negated, like we said. So, like, if he does draw Topo, he gets the negate. Yep. But all right, let's, let's see. see if Travis can get one. Oh, oh come Travis, on. come on, Travis. He's us. being dirty Why? with us. Oh, he he's a next game. Yep, that's it. So Travis for the first <clears> time <throat> going to be on the play. Absolutely, and it's just it comes down to striving to be the best, and it comes down to. Uh, yeah. Brandon had an amazing opener there. He stopped all the early game from Travis. Yep. He, for two turns, just didn't take it. This is what we want, though, y'all. You're playing for $500. This is a good game. It needs game. to go to a game three. This should be a game three here. Yeah, it's going to be hard now, though, for Brandon, even with all the stuff he did the last game. Because he's going to be a turn behind. Yeah, it is, but it, 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 I think Brandon can recover if he um, actually is able to charge, like, a bunch of blue to begin. Because then, then the the, um, the Zeno button becomes more impactful. <laughs> Depends if Travis sees digging and stuff off, digging and familiar off. You know his opening hand. It's going to be rough. Yeah. Turn two for Travis if he can. If Brandon doesn't have response, hopefully Travis is able to do uh, the one drop on turn his turn one. Because then Brandon can't respond with say the Kai because he can just swing with it. Because he can't play it during his turn and get the effect. But. Uh, like we said earlier, if you guys participate in the draft on day two at Nats, uh, winners also get the metal version of the draft leader. Which, just from pictures, looks insane. But, like, <coughs> so far looking at all these cards, like the alternate art cards, I wish they redid the front of the cards, too, but they didn't. But that alternate art Broly for second place, or just if you get the metal, you get to choose the metal card, the, oh, oh, my God, well, dude, you get, you get beautiful. The, you get the regular one. Like, if you're the champion, you get the regular Gogeta that says champion. Yeah. And then Your I, don't, choice. I don't know which person doesn't take the Broly because it's the I, sexiest. Do you have to, like, do you have to, have, like, oh, Vegito has to be, like, your favorite character. You don't, you're already rich. Because that uh, Broly will sell, be, like, personally, yeah. I'm, like, I'm not Nat, so I'm not going to keep that as a memento. I'm going to immediately get rid of that. I, if it was me, uh, yeah, this is game three, um. But uh, if it was me and I was to to somehow take home the, the the top prize, which is like, like seriously, if we had betting odds, if Vegas was to bet on us, um, if you like, I'd be the kind of person you put down five to win a million. Yeah. So let's <laughs> let's just make sure I'm clear on that. But if I was to do it, it, it would take a chunk of change, an offer of a chunk of change from somebody. Like you come at me with five hundred. Nope. Nah, bye -bye. I'm good. I like, I'm the, I'm the guy that that still has my uh, SPR sells. So I'm sit, sitting there just because they, that's what got me my invite to Nats. I have the deck right behind me, but I still have my SPRSLs in it. Actually, no, I did a different build, but I have the, the SPRSLs still. And, uh, you know, I've got my, my Broly stuff set to the side as well. I did see Travis open up a one-drop trunks, so he's probably going to play that turn one. He has Pan. Uh, I'm not sure if he drew the familiar. <coughs> did, uh... Can't quite see what he has. Did he freaking hard mole everything? No, he uh, Travis kept two cards. Brandon no, might've, Brandon. Brandon might have. Or was he still shuffling? He might have still been shuffling. Maybe he did a different side. But uh, Travis opening hand, I can see the 
One drop trunks. I saw I a see. denial of hope. I think I saw a pan in there. I also think I saw familiar. I think I see it digging deep, uh, digging deep in there. <laughs> Just to scrap six cards, but yeah, uh, yeah no. So I think uh, he also. I know for sure he has one drop trunks and the uh, new overall. Well, there's de definitively a fam familiar bond there. He yeah. flashed that to his yeah. nice and strong. He has one drop trunks, familiar bonds, and the overall double uh, critical, and you can give double strike during battle. Yeah. So those are three cards guaranteed. But Wait, we is, saw the pan. Is it? You can give it double. Strike. It's during the it's activate battle. You warp a card and give the. It's either the card. I think the card naturally has crit, and then you. Swing. Oh, the, the SS three trunks. Yes, the tag team trunks. The overwhelm gives it the crit. When you okay. overwhelm it, and it gives a crit, and then if you warp activate battle, warp a uh, yes, star double. from hand, it gives double strike. But thankfully, with it, nothing boosts up its attack power. Yeah, but with Pantra, you get the Pantra, so it's twenty k double crit. Yeah, but see, one trunks. That's a good start for Brand. Uh, sorry, Travis, because now Brandon can't respond with Kai. Draws Dragon Ball for turn. It could either be really good or yeah, He's definitely going to get at least one swing out of it, and possibly, I mean, one swing combo, the digging deep, Familia bonds it out, and I mean, that's a lot yeah. of pressure before he's, yeah. he gets to do anything. Hopefully Travis combos the digging deep on the trunks <coughs> in case uh, he gets hit with that uh, the god yeah. combo back to hand. Yeah. So let's see if Brandon has any in life. It's... So, at least one. It's a one-star. One star. I mean, the way he's looking at it, I feel like he might have two. I think he's gonna he, hope he hits it. Yeah, well, I don't think it's about hoping he hits it. I think he realizes he doesn't want to tap out here for it. That's fair. So I think he's uh, he may be sitting on Oasis coercion because Oasis coercion on the on the trunks play. Yeah. Could uh, on the trunk swing could 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 uh, definitely net value. He has two regular ones from deck. <coughs> so he's. If he doesn't have another Dragon Ball in hand, he has he's on an awkward curve. He's going to have a one ball. Well, he turn. doesn't. Brandon likes to play his Dragon Ball. Well, he might have a super, but he likes to yeah. play his Dragon Balls before. Oh, those are the two we just searched for. So. Wait. Oh, I thought he just play, I thought it was three. But yeah, so he, he doesn't like he likes to play his balls before searching, hoping that he hits another ball so that when he searches, he, yeah. he's just getting more and more. Sparlock over on which isn't the best, but charges, charges the mirror. mirror. Mm -hmm. and that's a, that's an interesting red and. Black charge there. Yeah, he's running two trunks, one Bardock, and then one. Yep, that's Eevee. exactly what we said he should do. I think he, he kept it open for the counter, the counter Kai. And yeah. I, I it's I not going to do much right here. No, unfortunately. I mean, it may not be a horrible thing just by getting the draw. Yeah, I mean, he likes to see as much of his deck as he can. Because he's probably going to take that, this That's helpful. Yeah, that's a good hit. He does not mind that crit at all, other than the fact that he's in seven life. I mean, it doesn't kill him, but. One, two, there we go. Don't know how many more in line. I, I appreciate that Travis is, is <laughs> one guy who um, observes the rules of search until you find what you do, since Dragon Ball is not a yeah. learn your deck uh, situation. Has one in hand already, which kind of stinks, so his next bonds will not be to its full effect. Yeah. But Pan Trigger draw, and gets, I think, another Digging Deep. Yep. Yep. All right, so this Digging Deep going to go up to 25. Brandon probably going down to 5 life here, at least, and then he's going to have leader. Brand, a, Brandon may be sorry, sitting sorry. on Oasis coercion, though. Possibly. I could see a play here on that. He's actually going to go for the double crit right off rip by doing four star balls. Did you see uh, Brandon's hand starting game? Uh uh. It's a super Dragon Ball and two Dragon Balls in hand. Okay. So okay, so he does have the super Dragon Ball in hand, so on his next turn. He will be able to awaken. He's only going to search for one. Yeah, I don't think he's going to do that, though. You know, he, I mean, he won't, of course. So I think this is where Brandon would use the Whis if he had it, so let's see. Because this is going to be a double crit attack. Because he's going to pitch the other four star ball. Yeah. Yeah. I think he just wastes here. But by the looks of it, don't think Brandon has it. So Travis actually didn't even do the ability. Um, yeah. He just decided to leave it at the 15k crit. <clears throat> Which is good. I mean, he's, he's trying yeah. to get stuff out of his hand there. Yeah. So, yeah. Just digging, pushing him down to five. How's that attack reacting? Uh, so far, so good. We've had some good discussions, but deck-wise, and then it's mainly been pretty smooth game, no hiccups or anything. Everyone's they're yeah. both really good, experienced players. So, but as long as Brandon's got good, solid sleeves, he, he's a great player. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully, Brandon, if Brandon said, hopefully he has another button here so he can resolve that dragon, the super dragon ball, and then button. But also today here, we actually have the main, uh, the, main uh, the actor who plays uh, the main character in Cobra Kai playing a magic. Oh, oh wow, okay, that's pretty yeah. cool. So, pretty good show out for every, everybody here. You know, you guys are holding the throne of Eldraine for release. 
we actually ran out of really skid. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. Yeah. So awkwardly search for the one ball, but he luckily did get the one star ball off the life. I saw it in his hand, I believe. Okay. So yes. Brandon's well, not gonna have I to mean, that's why he didn't look there. Then. Yeah. So I could actually maybe see him, depending on what he draws here, of one starring and pitching the two star to awaken to, yes. to give the extra the extra defense. It's, that could be the. It's like you you nail it on hand size. I was gonna ask that. That's Paul. That guy yeah. Cobra Kai Hall. He just yeah. mentioned that. Yeah. He heard probably he was probably watching the stream. Oh. It it looked like it. Yeah. So he's going with the Dragon Ball play. The super? Yeah, he went super. Out there. Ooh, Interesting. Yes. Because the, uh, then uh, now he's still now, now he's stuck yeah, unawakened with the one star in hand. He can pitch the one star here. Yeah, I would expect him to pitch one star. Yeah, he's got he's got to pitch it. And he loves to pitch the world piece here. Other people pitch pitch different things, but like Brandon, Brandon has told me multiple times that like his his like perfect turn one play except against this craziness. Yeah. Is one star and pitch yep. the um, pitch one star pitch Kai pitch the uh, world uh, the world piece. Yeah, I also think that flashes to Travis that Brandon probably has a power burst in hand because he pitched the Kai, mm -hmm. so it's just a target to grab. So he really didn't neg two. Yeah, but he's also he I also imagine greatly that he has the Zeno button in hand. Travis has to uh, hopefully he doesn't get like tunnel vision. Maybe like I don't know if he has fearless pan, but he needs to swing with this trunks first, uh, just in case Brandon. Well, I know Brandon's tapped out. I'm saying he can't do the Kai, yeah. so. If he has pan, like yeah. Well, if he, sw if he swings, um, if he swings with uh, the, if he swings with anything first, yeah. he's gonna Zeno to untap. Yep. And then that'll be. So, Travis here probably gonna go down to three life. I assume he's probably just gonna take one for digging and then one for uh, trunks. So there's, there's the button. Zeno. Yep. Takes the one there. Um, stands. So just twenty to fifteen. <clears throat> Any combo. I would see if he combo if he ran the yeah. if he had four star balls left. But there yeah. we go. This is a good turn for Brandon with that button because he's gonna have these are just twenty k attacks. He's just one card out. And you know the 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 super combo into um into just more cards. He wants to see as many cards as he can. I could also see Travis maybe laying back a little bit and not doing like last game how he ripped himself down super low so quick, and maybe just passing with some energy up and stuff like that. But yeah, he does have the uh, denial in hand. Combo victory strike, which isn't too amazing in this matchup. It's just yep. a big base. But yeah, he's got to end it before then. And this is the one that um, you can either draw or take yeah. the double strike. Uh, double strike. Yeah. So I think Travis actually isn't even going to swing at the one drop trunks here. No, I don't think so either. I, I don't think also he wants to put him. himself in Gogeta seven range again. Yeah. He might just pass turn and not awaken. <clears throat> just have a more explosive turn, like say if he is for seeing hit. Mm -hmm. But there's that kind of play, Vegeta. That's. I don't want to say probably not going to happen, but you yeah. never know. Yeah. Like, he can do, like, oh, objection, go to four, wish, Shenron, untap two, tap two, yep. objection, leader effect, world peace, like, some crazy stuff. But, yep. Yep. so yep. he awakened yep. and actually went with it. Hit a Weezus Corrosion. On the, on the leader swing? Yes. She's going to pass, so I'll leave that open. Probably only gonna use that trunks for when he's going for game. Yeah. Because now he has open for two double shots. If Brandon swings once, Travis could get pretty crazy. Missed um, his unawakened leader effect. He no, there was no. He did not play a card. He did. He did. He he played the um, the this. No, that, he tapped three for that. Yeah. And then but he's he talking about unawakened leader effect of plus one and draw. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know if that's um, the judges there too, but the judges are extremely exhausted. Is that a is that a required? Yes. It is a required effect. Um, he did you want to go? Uh, uh, yeah, go. go yeah. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do okay, it. Okay, okay. I don't have any legal registration over this event, so Brandon's gonna go home and check it out. Brian, Brian, Brandon, <laughs> Brandon's blank. <laughs> so they're checking it out. They're gonna go ahead and stop playing right now. I remember seeing the only card that I can't remember for sure. Thank you, Devin Sama, for if he actually didn't do that. I'm pretty sure he didn't. I was ordering that. Yeah, Brandon should have had to combo out more. It's actually pretty big. It's a shame it got missed. 
I don't think they're gonna make Brandon take another card out of hand, but Travis is probably gonna draw a card. Yeah, so they're back in hand. Uh, Travis gets a super combo. What was that infraction? So, uh, yeah, let me sit down. So, what happened, let me get up here close. The, the way it ended up being ruled is that uh, the, the draw is required, and, and they missed it, so obviously warning to both players. Um, but it also helped Brandon in not having to combo higher. Yeah. And so, but because of that, the, the, the draw is mandatory, but the, the, the combo power is accepted state. Yeah. So. Uh, appreciate that. Uh, Devin. Yo what's, up, Nick? Actually, yo, so. yo, what's up, Nick? This is me. Yeah, but uh, appreciate that, Devin, um, uh, for catching that because we were all just into what was going on. We, everybody missed that. The judges sitting at the table and us. But uh, we, we appreciate that, and, and we got that rectified. Yo, Nick, it's your boy Brian here, man. I don't know if you uh, uh, knew that I was commentating since my 11th place finish brought shame upon hey, uh, the deck. <laughs> you're, team you're bubble. Team, uh, team plus one bubble. That's what yeah. we are. <laughs> <coughs> Brandon laying down the objection, going to four. Uh, I don't think he has. I think he has Weiss in the drop. But Travis with an awfully big board, but the thing Travis can just do is just den denial the Weiss. Yeah, he can denial the Weiss, um, which would be a nasty play. That's a feel bad play, but I, I, I feel like Brandon's seen it enough that he's attempting to play around denial when when, when possible. Butter is what we're playing. I was playing Tricolor Janemba. I lost to Brandon, who was in the finals, so that's a good loss. And then I unfortunately just, my deck kind of, I, I punted and the deck punted, so I just didn't have a really great matchup versus Pan, uh, which made it to top four. That was the, so you saw Travis face. But, so I punted, but that's okay. Uh, three of my teammates made it, so three of the four players who came made it. Uh, two of them lost in the first cut, which kind of stunk because we were the ones to play it out because we wanted to make some money because <laughs> we did drive seven hours. But, we well, Travis, Travis, is, Travis is trying to cover y'all. Yeah, he's trying to make it up for us. That way, that way Seth doesn't kick y'all off the team. I know, right? I work for him, so if he kicks me off the team, it's like one day I'm not going to show up for work. <laughs> so Travis is going to take some life here. Go. This is a... See, yeah. Unfortunately, that Awaken did go basically to no use for Travis last turn. Mm -hmm. He got zero fat. He didn't play a card. Yep. Nothing. So, so. is he comboing that? Uh, yeah. Yes. Probably going to go too low in life because I guess he doesn't feel like he can get killed by say Gogeta next turn. That yeah, he wants. He, he definitely wanted to get the. He wants to uh, get those cards off so that Kami's not in play to blow up yes. his board. Yes, he's probably going to take two cards here. He did tap one for it uh, when he played the Kami. Um, yes, that, he, he tapped, tapped uh, King Vegeta. Um, he tapped that yellow King Vegeta to get the Kami out. So the twenty-five liters swing to fifteen. Brandon going down to four life. That was off the. He went down to four life off the first. Um, the first taking swing right combo yeah. trunks. <coughs> so far, two twenty five k swings. He must hit that super combo because otherwise he would out combo that there. Yeah. So striving to be the best that's got to hurt a little bit. I guess he tries maybe putting two cards on this because he doesn't have Bardock in hand. Uh, the overall draw two. And uh, he doesn't really have anything to play this turn. He has like two double shots in hand, Topo, not really great targets. So if he can get two cards, well, he's going to get yeah. three. So. But he, did, he, he pushed him to 25 there, so he could... Uh, he could also draw a card here. Yep. He's got the draw card or... Um, double strike. Yeah. Or double strike. And the double strike could be a difference maker. Yeah. But it looks like he's... He was, he's got a pretty sizable hand. I don't think he won... Uh, hmm. I kind of... Oh, super. He gets Kaba. That's a lethal attack. There's Pan as well. Pan's more of a defensive play at this point. Just mm -hmm. leave it open so like you can't really die. But Travis also with the Kai in hand, so he can. He's going he's for swinging game him here. down to. He's, oh, no, three he's, three, yeah. he's at three life. But he wants to get him down uh -oh. to where, where Gogeta uh -oh. seven is not a, n nothing to worry about. You're right. <coughs> just kind of worried. Travis has uh, twice before actually punted by on stream. I think it was he dumped while the dude was a three. Uh, I mean, it was a two. No, sorry, no. Uh, he dumped on a three-life opponent with a uh, double strike. Yeah, so. but I think I think realistically, he's trying to turn <laughs> off Ko Ken and yeah, um, that's huge in this matchup. That's yeah. something like because he has Topo in hand. Yeah, yeah, that's something like if Brandon sits across from say Janemba, like he knows that he's his life is he has a million resources off his life. 
Like, first me, he had two balls on life, how like he did against Travis, but it didn't make any difference. I couldn't push. Like, you just don't have the power anymore. Like, Mono yeah. Blue was able to do that. Brandon's down at one. That's that's pretty much the so ball game, I feel. He's at least going to try to put pressure here and hand dump, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, this is going to be a draw There's three draw. here. Yeah, pitch one. And he's going to pitch one, and he also has bonds just now again. Yeah, he's got to pitch the diggy deep here. Yeah. He might pitch double shot. That's a 10K. Right, digging. Yeah. He's digging. probably going to come with the digging. Yep, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Wee here from Rand would be really well timed. Uh, yeah, I think. Oh, the power burst is going to go back to Kai. Back the That's also Kai. tapped out, but now Travis can just hard cast it or et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Um, I, I think he just suits. I think he has. No, I, I think he. I mean, he can because he's in such control. But I think it's just delaying the inevitable path. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it looks so, like he's just going to pass. Because he can't go Jita. He hit, uh, I'm assuming Brandon maybe has like six cards in hand, possibly. Uh, let's see if he threads one, two, three, four. He's rocking, I think, like six yeah. or seven. Uh, got a charge here, which only puts him at five. Charge to five. So even double objection does nothing for you at this point because you either go Kyle or Gogeta, which are two dead cards. The, the best thing he can do is somehow triple objection and Whoopi's victory. But earlier, Travis comboed out on a single strike, thinking his opponent after a match with life. Oh yeah, yeah that's why. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it was. Because he talked about it after. He's like, if it turns out if I would have just dumped on the after image, he actually would have won. Mm. <laughs> but like stuff like that. If he would have dumped cards there. <clears throat> but, yeah. I think he was at two life and he after imaged. And then he thought he went down to one and then went to swing. And gotcha. so he, just, he did single strike when the guy was at two. But technically, both times Travis has done that, he won the tournament. Because the PPG, he, the first time he did that was versus Justin Rios on stream, where he double striked and used the three life and dumped. Might have been, might have been Justin, but uh, he ended up winning the entire event. So nice. <laughs> this would be two for two. I said it actually at the very beginning of the day. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, not like you forget for Brandon. If he plays anything low to the ground from hand, Travis has denial. He also has topo. Yeah, it's it's not a great situation. With, with three life left, I, I just I don't see yeah. how Brandon gets this over. I think this is he has. I think we're just going through the motions at this point in time. Yeah. The best play for Brandon would be to World Peace, then wish out the Vegeta, but unfortunately Travis would probably most likely just Denial, because he has the Vegeta to kill his board in the grave. But well, well do I don't know, know what it, I don't know what his situation. He would is. need no objection. I'm saying he's a five. Well, well, here's the thing: is he could objection, and um, I don't know if what's the uh, the three drop Vegeta? What's its uh, energy cost? Uh, three drop Vegeta. Which one? The one that the uh, or the Vegeta that turns off. Um, oh, it's six. Energy. It's a six mana. Yeah. Yeah, but what's its energy cost? Six. Is it twenty? Oh, oh I mean, no, it's, it's power. Uh, I would like to say it's twenty. Someone in chat, it do would, it right it, now. It would. It would suck. It would suck. Um. Yeah. Let's see. That's uh. What's his name? Majestic Ruler. Yes, I believe so. Or maybe it might be like something Bloodline. Nah, it's, it's King so, the Magician Ruler. Leader effect doing world peace. It is... Travis going to activate it is, the It's a 25k. Okay, so that's not horrible. So that's... Unfortunately, Brandon just did it now, so he has to have a 5 mana or a lower target, which I don't think... He, besides Gogeta, the draw to, he just has to fail to find. Yeah, unfortunately, what, what that's what that's kind of... Because it's, it's over there. What he needed to do, the play here, would have been to objection one more, bring it out, turn off all skills. Yeah, if he doesn't respond with the... He either does... The Vegeta, with him saying no response, or if he does, okay, denial, then you're like, okay, I'll bring out yep. Vegeta. Which doesn't get you much. It just saves you a bit, a bit of combo power. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, Ren is a five five mana. His leader effect's offline, so now if he were to objection, he has to tap. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, tap out, I believe. He would tap out for World Peace. Yeah, because he'd go to six and then tap the last four. So it's uh, looking all but over for Brandon. There's the Gogeta, though. That's actually a really good card here. Is he going to hard cast that? I think he, he has, has to. to. Uh, yeah. He has enough mana. I believe it's two blue specified. Yep. He regardless, yeah, he has, he has three in there, there anyways. Yeah, so there's the five. So I'm going to spin the two guys, draw two. Those go there to the bottom. But Travis's hand is so sizable. I, I, just, I still don't yeah, think Draws this. Dragon Radar, which is dead. Tapped out. No negates. He oh, no, 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 no. Well, he still have it. Did he free wish? Did he free? He free. Oh, okay. uh, he, he had to fail to find on the free wish. Yeah, I was making sure he freed because I, I He would have to, to swing with Kami and get attack down and then swing with Gogeta. But no, he did free wish where he had to fail to find Swing with Gogeta. And yeah, he just doesn't have the combo pieces to, pu to push combo. Maybe Travis actually has a double shot to push out here as well. So it's just going to even, it's going to go against Brandon. And then 5k. And 
draw. So he's actually he's probably gonna if he has a familiar, he can just wish it out mm -hmm. off the board. He just drew his other ball. That sucks if he does do familiar. But Brandon tapped out, passing turn. It's all but over. Looking like uh, I, I, mean, I, I imagine he's but. he's oh he's got a um burst tag. I saw a burst tag, and if he's got a Zeno, then maybe he has um, an outside shot. Because we haven't seen very many Wees, and you know, all you gotta do is get use Zeno, a Zeno button once, and then yeah, that's right. I forgot about, forgot about So we'll see here. This Here's is for the Familia two. Bonds to bring out the pan to give Vegeta the double strike. He's first. thinking about just hard casting the. Yeah. yeah. He he think about playing the digging first. Yep. But. I think he just he, did, he didn't he didn't need the double. Yeah. The he's double. gonna see what he gets off here because he did he does run two different overwhelms. Oh, there's there's a button. button. He All does right. run two different overwhelms that do draw him cards. Yep. The the, the uh, that, other that may cost a mana to do. There's another fearless pan, which would be 25, 20, and just yeah. Brandon's hand is not that bad, but okay yeah for attacks still going through so this is 25. Uh, this Kami's immediately coming off board I assume probably with a 10k in a Kami. Mm-hmm. So it looks like about six cards in hand for Brandon. I'm trying to see, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six. It could be six or seven. Yeah, something like that. But probably a ten k, and then just. Kind and he's of tapping the one for the ten k. Yeah. It's it's ko can's no good. Yep, that's dead. But he's got a combo way. The victory strike's already over there. Not gonna do the kami apparently looking like. Um. Yeah, there, there it goes. There it goes. Yep. Yeah. Nope. I guess he wants to see to save the threat so he doesn't go too wide if he can't end it here. Yeah, yeah, I guess. It's just flashing and thinking maybe he's yeah. trying to show him like, oh, I've got to survive, so I'm gonna have Kami on board. So does he negate this? It's if he has it. Uh, I think on the right. I know he. I has, know he has a power burst, so. I know he also has a dragon radar, so that's a dead card there. <clears throat> Good look at his deck. Travis probably thinking about what happens if I pass turn. Well, Travis is definitely. Th I think he didn't negate it, so. Brandon has. I don't. I, I think. I think Travis. I think Brandon said no response. No, no negate there. Yeah, dump on the attack. Yep. I think maybe you dump all but digging. He was. I think what he was checking for was super combo usage, and I think he's used three of them already. Oof. So, I mean, you thinking at max thirty k? Yeah, I think you meet him. Probably. I think Travis probably meets him at a thirty-five, and then saves the digging. So he's a twenty and a twenty. So there's thirty. 30. 35. 45. 45. And he keeps the digging. Yep. So he has a lethal pan on swing because no bean is like huge right now. <coughs> I think he. Yeah. I think this is most likely game. Yeah. He can't replicate his mana, so if he has two 10k, one's a right radar and a power burst. So that's two okay. dead cards combo wise. So what did we say? It was 20, 30, 45. I think he's, he's checking if that's two mana during his turn as well. No, I think he just wanted to make sure he knew everything he yeah. did. It's 50k. He's got to get to 50. I don't see how he does that. He oh, has to return. That's, that's why. That's not horrible. I mean, so yeah. now it's 20, 30, 40. Yeah, right. that's the best target to push back, though. Yeah. Because anything else, he thinks probably Travis maybe has like a denial hand he can't combo with. Yeah. So So now he went down with that to, what's it? Uh, 20, 30, 40. Yeah. 40 base, and that is 20, 30, 40. Good game. Travis gets yep. it. He didn't have so, it. So, Travis Washburn. <clears throat> yep, $500. Money man. Y'all better talk about who dinner's on tonight. Uh, dude, we got a long seven hour, uh, seven. So, so di dinner and, mi and midnight smacks. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm not even going to get home to midnight. Yeah, he can get dinner and breakfast. I know, dude. Uh, he actually has to go straight from here to work tomorrow morning. Yeah. By well, the time we get home, he has to clock in. Well, I don't know, man. I mean, you walk out of here with 500, that's a day's worth of pay. He can call in sick. One of his managers actually just walked out, so he's kind of stressed. Like, one of his uh, co-workers, so he has to pick up a bunch of hours. But All right. Well, cool. Good for him. This man got five kids. $500 will do a lot. Yep. <laughs> we, uh, yo, just a uh, shout-out to everybody. Thanks for tuning into the Dabbers uh, uh, one, uh, 2K that became a 1K. Um, Thanks to Butters for, for teaming up with me here. This uh, is fun. I love commentating. It was, I, 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 this is my first time ever doing it, but I enjoyed it. It's a blast. It. I enjoyed it a hell of a lot. If, if if I didn't enjoy playing so much, I would definitely lean more towards this. Absolutely. At one point, I almost did it. Before I got like super competitive, where I went to like a bunch of events by myself, I nearly just went with trying to commentate. Like I went, I was talking with Dusty, possibly being like his like setup guy, like setting up his cameras and like helping out and stuff. But 
it's, uh, but uh, yeah, we definitely thank y'all for uh, tuning in, and we're gonna call it there. Absolutely. Uh, I'm gonna put it to the between rounds because I don't know what else they want me to do. Yeah. So let's do that. If you, All right. end, if you do want to end it, it's just over yeah. there and stuff like that. All right, catch y'all later. Yeah. Catch you boys next time. See y'all. I'll, I'll hit the play until they so come in here. Uh, also, by the way, he wasn't supposed to draw off the, uh, off the pan trigger after he played familiar on the other pan. He just shot it off the pan and he draw. No, he, he hard casted the, the, go, the one that it happened was he hard casted the go on. on. No, 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 oh. no, no, no. Not that, not that okay. pan trigger. The, when he played familiar bonds to bring back Fearless in the final turn. You are still supposed to look at your deck, shuffle, and shuffle. It's, it's, yeah. You draw a card. It's, it, it's like it's it, it matters, but doesn't. They were two randomized cards, regardless yeah. of not shuffling and shuffling. Well, the, the, and, and the penalty sense. for not shuffling is um, opponent uh, just he, he reveals his hand. Yeah, which it it still doesn't. Brandon also got hooked up though because Brandon. Uh, they missed the pan trigger on the Gohan, so Brandon was able to save. He wasn't able to only combo five hand on that. Yeah. So yeah. I, I saw that and I was like, um, Even that's not right. right. And somebody brought it up and I was like, all right, well, I. Yeah. But yeah. then at that point in time, the I, I just put it to between rounds. I didn't know. Go. I'm sorry. I need to stop. All right, man. I enjoyed it. Glad I could have it, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. Hey. Hey. I got all the freaking sixty-eight percent. Oh, it's almost sixty-nine. Um. Oh wow. If it ends up being the Braves and the Strokes, and you have a line that's good, just let me know. I literally, I, 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 I think it's like, yeah. Like that. If it's, so if it's, how did that, how did the last match go commentary? It went great. It was, it was Butters and I, so. Yeah, I mean, it was a good match, too. So. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so, um, more than likely, probably like 90, 90% I have had tickets to the game. All right. All, all I got to do is be like, he'll, he'll be like, What's up? I feel like, you know what I want, because it's my two favorite teams, yeah. and I'm so excited. Well, I'm a Strohs, man. I'd love to be there. Yeah. So, I, I literally, like, when they when they picked up Granky at the trade deadline, I, my nipples got hard. I hope everyone heard that. I got so excited. I've, I've been a Strohs fan since 2000. Yeah, I've been a Strohs I, I played Little League when I was little, and I just kept with the team. I was in love with Joe uh, Bagwell. and I was Bagwell's excited. my guy. I was just like, I have to. Bagwell's and so, the guy, like, dude, he's freaking